Hello again, Aries. Dedici here from astrology.com.au with your horoscope update for October 2013. You know, the position of the Sun is uh, moving into what we call an opposition of Uranus. And what this means is, uh, <clears throat> especially because it's in the area of relationships, that this can indicate some very sudden and unexpected changes, probably on the part of your partner, but probably a reaction to your working life right now, because uh, this solar aspect also incorporates the placement of Pluto in the upper part of your horoscope, in your professional area. So there could be some problems there associated with your work or your partner's work. And, uh, you know, Pluto is a rather obsessive planet, so it could be that this person's been like a dog at a bone, trying to get their own way in some matter. And uh, you may not even be aware of that because uh, this is the type of aspect that happens unannounced. And that's going to happen within the first week of the month. Uh, you do have other uh, fine aspects there on the second Mercury and a nice aspect to um, Neptune. These are, these are spiritual aspects. And it's interesting that... Uh, I say that because uh, Mercury and Neptune are both in the 8th and 12th house. Uh, and these houses are the spiritual houses. So it shows us that your research and your investigation, possibly into this matter, may, uh, may reveal some, some uh, aspects that will surprise you. But it's also an opportunity for you to deal with the situation in a manner which uh, could be unexpected to the other party as well. So this is where you rise above the reactive, impulsive, Aryan um, qualities of your, your personality. Uh, and we have an opportunity to deal with this uh, very, very differently. That aspect of the Sun and Pluto and Uranus, uh, the Pluto aspect happens on the 2nd of October with the Uranus aspect happening on the 4th. And that's interesting because that shows a build-up of tension over these first few days up to that uh, 4th. Now, they're the two hard aspects, but there are some other nice aspects that are counteracting this. And you mustn't uh, forget that when you're reading uh, a horoscope, you need to look at you know the pros and the cons and uh, take everything on uh, like a, uh, an aggregate of uh, merit and demerit. Mercury in the uh, sextile aspect to uh, Pluto in the 10th house on the 7th, it shows us that your communication could work very well for you at that time, especially if you've done your research and your homework prior to, to, to the event. Venus moves to the ninth house of your horoscope on the 8th, and that has a lot to do with travels and uh, seeking, I guess, a bit more freedom in your life. Venus being the pleasurable planet in that zone of long journeys is um, certainly welcome and a fine placement. The benefic planets are always... Uh, very welcome in the what we call the triangular houses of, of the horoscope and bring with them a lot of good luck. So apart from the travels and that sort of thing, this is a time when your general circumstances uh, function uh, quite well and good opportunities can arise. Could be a bit of confusion around the 10th, however, 9th and 10th, Mercury and Saturn combining in what we <coughs> see as a conjunction in the 8th house or hidden house of your horoscope. That's also a, an area that has to do with your financial situation, your savings and that type of thing. That could knock the edge off your plans and that could then throw you into a bit of confusion around the 10th when Venus and Neptune go into the uh, right angle of each other. 9th house, 12th house. 12th house is the expenses. expenses. Ninth house is long journeys. Twelfth house is emigration and, and uh, travels as well. So it's also secrets. So there, there can be some uh, issues there. Maybe a throwback to that first couple of aspects I mentioned with your, with your partner or uh, the person that you love. Um, issues that have been uh, held beneath the surface that come, come to the fore now. A few pretty tough aspects for you on the 11th, the 13th. Um, 11th, 12th, 13th, Sun, again this 7th uh, house Sun or the 
sector of your horoscope dealing with your relationships, but also the general public showing uh, excess, that's the Jupiter, and problems expressing your personality or having some conflicts with uh, people generally there. So it's a bit of a tough cycle for you, but I'm hedging my bets on the fact that you may rest on that spiritual component that is coming through and you'll be able to use that to your advantage by not reacting too much to any of the, you know, the statements or circumstances that are thrown at you during this uh, first couple of weeks of the month. Now, the Mars transit to the sixth house on the 15th shows a much, much more vital expenditure of energy on your work. Uh, you could really, really want to get things done. And you can use Venus and Uranus. Um, that's on the 17th, leading up to the 17th, to give you some creative and uh, persuasive strengths in doing so. Good aspects to uh, Aryan borns, also from Mercury around the 18th and an eclipse on the 19th is uh, pr pretty important. <clears throat> that is occurring in your uh, sun sign. So this has a lot to do with your personality and revealing new components of your your character to yourself and to others. So maybe this whole sort of uh, aspectual thing I'm talking about could could be a build-up to uh, some aha moment later in the month. The opposition from Mars to Neptune is not so great on the 20th. That's difficult. Be careful of the um, amounts of alcohol that you may drink, pharmaceuticals, even just day-to-day -day foods that may not uh, be taken too well by your system. You might have some allergies developing at that time. The square aspect from Jupiter to the Sun on the 22nd um, is one of the harder aspects, last one uh, before the end of the month, that has a lot to do with waste and expenditure. And maybe a tendency to try to co overcompensate for some of these uh, difficult, tense moments earlier from these other planets. So just be a bit cautious in how you spend and how you manage your uh, finances towards the end of the month. The last four or five aspects are good. We've got Mercury again in a, a very nice aspect to uh, career around the 24th to the 26th, indicating you can uh, write all those important professional letters, um, legal beagle letters, <laughs> you need to get off your chest at that time, and you can make, uh, make a good impression to those that you're writing to. Venus to the Sun on the 26th, Mercury to Saturn on the 30th, and uh, Mars to Pluto on the 31st. This last few days of the month is very intense, but pleasurable at the same time. You're focused, you're concentrated, you're deliberate, you can get things done, maybe not as quickly as you'd like, but uh, certainly with uh, great impact and uh, satisfaction to yourself. Please join me next month, but in the meantime, astrology.com.au, I hope will be your uh, stop off for your daily, monthly and yearly readings and a lot of other free stuff that we have there along with uh, personalized readings by myself and hundreds of other psychics in the Oranum network. Please join me. Look forward to your company. Bye-bye now.